Do you know how long a variable name can be in Java? Hopefully this is a question you've never asked yourself because you, you're always making nice, meaningful variable names, right? But just how long can you make the variable name until our program explodes? We're gonna find out. My name's John, I'm a lead Java software engineer and I love sharing what I've learned in a clear, understandable way. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss each new Java video. I also have a full Java course available in a link down in the description if you're interested. So I was thinking, what's the best way to find out how large you can make a Java variable name? Of course, we could probably Google it or something. But come on, where's the fun in that? We're going to find out by just making longer and longer variable names until our program explodes. Let's get right to it. We're going to create an int variable. First, let's create it with just a normal name like bacon. Int bacon equals three. And we'll also just make a line of code to print it out just so we know that our program is working. Int bacon equals three, print bacon, prints out three, everything looks good. Now let's see how large we can make this variable name. First thing I want to do, let's put this uh, variable name on its own line and get rid of the beginning tabs just so we can know uh, by looking at this uh, position indicator down here exactly what the size of the variable name that we're making is right now. So now that we've got it all set up, let's make this variable name huge. To do that, I'm going to do the very advanced technique of copying and pasting. Here we go. Bacon, 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 bacon. Copy that whole line and start pasting that. All right, up to 2,760. Let's copy that whole line and keep pasting. Hey, what, what, what the heck? So on that, that last time we pasted, the whole line just vanished. So what's weird is I have the cursor on this line. I can keep pressing the right arrow and it doesn't go past this point in the line. So it looks like it's something a little more than 30,000 characters. There's some kind of bug in Eclipse that just destroys your entire variable name and it doesn't even work. But let's actually see if we can make our program run with that size of a variable. So let's copy this variable and paste it here in our print line statement and just try and run our program. <laughs> yep, works just fine with a 32,000 character variable name. But I don't know. I think that's just a bug with Eclipse. So what actually I'm going to do is copy this program over to IntelliJ and see if we can get our variable name even longer. All right, so I've copied the program over to IntelliJ where I'm able to also run the program just fine. Let's see if we can make this variable name even longer in IntelliJ. And it looks like we can. It is not crashing after we continue past 32,000. So let the copy pasting resume. <laughs> now we're up past a million characters and IntelliJ still hasn't crashed on us. Each paste now makes IntelliJ freeze for like 10 seconds. All right, so now it looks like we're up past 10 million characters. Let's copy and paste that and double it. 20 million, copy, paste. If there is such a crime as computer abuse, I am definitely guilty of it. Okay, wow, we are up past 62 million and IntelliJ seems to have frozen, so I'm going to kill it again. Okay, we're back. All right, so now we get an alert that this file size is too large to even do any editing in IntelliJ anymore. Okay, so let's back up. Let's take the file that we at least had working in Eclipse and copy that over to IntelliJ, the one that had the 32,000 character variable name. We're gonna start with that in IntelliJ and just work our way up until the program breaks. Since we can't even edit this file in IntelliJ, we're going to uh, just delete it and recreate it. Java IO exception cannot delete this file. Okay, well, let's go into Windows Explorer and try and delete it uh, manually. Can't delete it because it's open in IntelliJ. So IntelliJ can delete it and Windows can delete it because IntelliJ has it open. So let's once again kill IntelliJ, sorry. Try again to delete the file. Okay, the file is deleted. In case you didn't know, a cool thing that you can do is just copy the entire text of this class and then over in IntelliJ, just highlight the source folder and hit Control V to paste and it'll actually automatically create that class and put all that text in it. Pretty cool. So we know this works since we tried it before. Let's go ahead and double this to 64,000, see if it still works. And it does, so let's um, double that again to 128,000. All right, so there we actually did get an error. Our variable name is finally too long for Java to deal with it. So somewhere between 64,000 and 128,000 is the limit. So before I start just wasting my life adding single characters after 64,000 until it breaks, I actually did do a little bit of Googling and it looks like the magic number might be 65,000 535. So let's go and give that a test to see if that's right. All right, so now we're at exactly 65,535. Remember, it's off by one. So we see down here, 65,536. Here we go, moment of truth. Okay, it does work. Now let's add one more character. So now we're at 65,536. Now let's see what happens. And yes, we do get that same error. So the exact limit to a variable name that you can have in Java is 65,535 
characters. Now, why would that be? Why is that the magic number? It turns out this is actually due to a limitation in the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine. So it actually says down here, deep in the JVM spec documents, that the length of field and method names is limited to 65,535 characters by a 16-bit unsigned length of a constant buried deep in the JVM. So that makes sense, why? Well, because 16 bits means two to the 16th, and guess what two to the 16th is? 65,536. The actual maximum value of a 16-bit unsigned number would be 65,535. I can only hope that knowing this maximum limit to a variable name in Java is absolutely useless to you. If you ever try to make a variable name in Java that's more than 65, thousand characters long, may God have mercy on your soul. Seriously, you need help. If you'd like to see more Java tutorials or weird Java videos like this in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss each new video. And if you really want to support the channel, you can do the whole YouTube trifecta of leaving a like, leaving a comment below, and hitting the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.